this system uh, from about 1968 called GRAIL, the Graphical Input Language. This list of processes takes us back to the topmost level, where we may start to edit the flow diagram. No keyboard whatsoever. First, we erase a flow arrow, then move the connector out of the way so that we may draw a box in its place. He recognized he wants, wanted a box and made one. The printing now he's recognizing his hand printing. Is commentary only in this case. The box is slightly too large. Wants to change the size of the window. The Here's where Macintosh window control came from, literally. Then draw a flow from the connector to the box. Attach a decision element to the box and draw a flow from it to scan. Notice that every command is not just iconic, but also analogic. New area. And move and by that I mean position. that it looks like the thing that you want. So if you want to scrub something out, you scrub it out. If you want to draw a box, you just draw a box. It recognizes he wants one, makes one the same size. Chop off a corner. And label it subscan. If you want characters, you just make characters. And it recognizes those. There are no menus to reach to. You're always looking directly at where you're working. Now, notice it missed the N at the end of subscan there. He saw it. He hesitated. But it's the world's first modeless system. So he's able to just go and change it without issuing any more commands. You see every command that's actually being issued, and they're all in the form of direct action. What a remarkable system that was. And when I saw that, uh, I felt and used it for a half an hour in 1968. I felt like I was sticking my hands right through the display and actually touching the information structures directly. This is the first system I'd ever used, and practically the only one since, that I'd call truly intimate. And it was this degree of intimacy that was so important in a user interface.